All right, out in the new field. First time I'm detecting any of this farmer's property. First good signal. Looks like a round disc of some sort. So I'm gonna poke this and get it out of the dirt here. Initially I was kind of disappointed because there's a piece of broken glass in the plug too. Well, it's round like a coin, but it looks like it's made out of lead so it might be a token. All right, I haven't moved. Here's that lead. Sorry, it's not lead. I thought it was lead, but it's some lightweight alloy. Looks like a coin that is really crusty. There's almost no T-deal on it, so. All right, so I had to switch fields. The smaller fields I was on earlier were kind of crappy. This field is extremely muddy. I was just about to leave, and then I got this nice coin signal brush it all right so this is not cleaning up that well so it's not silver but got some detail like it's a coin I'll soak that in some distilled water and see what it is later so just dug this it's a 1925 one Deutsche mark that side's pretty bad but over 80 years old nice I'll clean that up later can't wait to be able to hit this field properly not in this muddy conditions everywhere I'm finding pieces of pottery like like this that is just it's wow I mean there's tons and tons of this pottery it's probably all Roman to be honest there's a uh, uh, over in the woods over there, there used to be a lot of pottery factories and I've been picking up pieces of pottery all over this field. So we'll see, uh, see how much Roman stuff we find here. I haven't found anything yet, but there's gotta be, if there's this much pottery, there's gotta be some Roman stuff. So I just dug a, like a five finning right there. I walked it further, I'm like, oh, I got a small little signal. I'm liking this one a lot better than that five finning. I haven't done too much to it yet, but yeah. I was saying there's a lot of pottery around here. I scraped it a little bit here. Let me focus in. Here we are. I don't know, I think that's a bust. Considering its thickness, I think I might have gotten a Roman silver but that's to be determined. I'm not going to rub this any further. I'm going to clean this up tonight with a little bit of distilled water. And yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> we'll see you later. Here's another shot of it real quick before I put it away. I think a little bit of ridge detail right on this side. I think there's a bust on it. That's why I'm I'm leaning towards Roman silver. I'm not gonna clean it, but yeah. We'll see.
Alright, it's getting a bit muddy out here again. At least this part of the field. I think this is the first time I've, I've found one of these coins. No clue exactly what range they are. Other than they're kind of modern. Let me switch to focus. Second, okay, so this looks like it's a um, nineteen thirty five, nineteen thirty five pound mud. It's like five, five Deutsche Mark or Deutsches, Deutsches Reich, five thinning. All right, switch fields finally again. This one's less muddy. And I got this nice signal. I think I found one of these before. Hold on, let me get this focused in. It looks like one of those like hanging decorations off of something. It's like the round bottom right there. Right, right that end is round bottom. This end, this end's also kind of weird. This is probably gonna clean up really nice. It's not gonna hurt too much, but it looks like there's some detail like around crest or something right there. So yeah, this is pretty cool looking. Sorry for the focus. It's working a lot better now, but yeah, cool. Well, I'll see a picture of that later on. So I uh, I left the other field I was at, went back to home, uh, got some to eat, and I came back out the field in my backyard. I've got two fields back here, and I think I got my first piece of actual scrap silver. All right, got another uh, good sounding target. Is in this. Uh, liquid dirt here I'm digging in. Oh, that looks pretty. Focus this a little bit. It's covered in mud still, so probably gonna have to try to clean that. It's Roman silver. Might be able to identify it pretty quickly. I already know where to start, so so here's what we got for the day. I'm starting up here. We got a bunch of these burnt out coins. One was might be of like a five finny or whatever, but they're all probably wartime issue. Pretty well toasted. Got this nineteen twenty five. See if I can get it to focus with the light. It's pretty wet still, so it's not wanting to to focus on the other side, but. Child's Beats in 1925. There it is. Perfect lighting. There we are. 1925. There's also something that's a little bit later. Earthquake, there we are. Um, 1935. Do I just write five finning? Here's something I got out of my backyard field. This is really crusty, it's not very well 
detailed anymore. But it is a little religious medallion. Might be able to get some writing off there later. Next up is I got this out of the backyard too. And this is a little piece of scrap silver. Not nothing really fancy. This is fancy. This I was happy. This is probably the best yard. This best find for my backyard. Hold on. Stand by. There we are. That is like a fancy ring holder. And if you see here, it looks like it's a monster. Like this. That, like the mouth and the uh, smell of creature along with the ring. Yeah, we'll look at that later. We got some neat buttons and stuff out there. I get rid of all the other buttons unless they have like a cool design. This one came out pretty decent. So you know you're on the spot when you're finding Peter buttons like this. Flat buttons. Got a couple these bag seals, not much detail on This one, one of these came out of my backyard, one came out of another field. Um, this, this is probably the most real key find of the day. I don't know what this is. I found two other items similar. This looks freaking fantastic. We got something with this end here connected to another identical one of these. It's like this, that bar, and another one of these. I don't have anything quite ornate as this. It, I, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm assuming it's a clothing item. Because you got some little fastener of some sort here. Looks like it slips down on something. A lapel pin crazy thingy. I don't know. If anyone has any ideas, I'd like to know, because I've got a couple of these already. They come out in fantastic condition. I've got three of them. And finally, I think everyone's been waiting for. Yes. There we are. Look at that. And there's the bust. And there's the back. 